Good morning and welcome back to another video. It's Monday today and I'm getting myself ready to be away all week. It looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. It's so much easier to get up at this time of year. I pack all my fresh food for the week and I make some cups of tea. Two for me and one for Ryan. Then I straighten my hair and I say goodbye to Ryan, who is still in dreamland. Then I pack up the car with the clothes and food that I need for the week and make the 40 minute journey to work. At least I only have to make this journey to work once a week and once back on a Friday. It's not long before I'm in the yard and I pack all my stuff into the truck from my car. Normally I forget at least one thing that I was supposed to bring, but I don't think I have this week. Once I get it in the truck, I pack it all away and make sure all the perishables are in the fridge. It's now 5 a.m. so I put my card in and start work. But I must remember to record my weekly rest as a manual entry, which basically means I need to record the bed symbol from the time I finished on Friday to now. The first thing I do after that is go around and do my daily check. I always do those first because if there is a problem, it gives me more time to solve it. I now have a new shiny wheel on my trailer instead of that temporary scabby one. I then go on the app on my work phone to see what I'm doing today. And I fill out the ticket with all the information on the app. And it's looking like I've got a fairly easy day for a Monday. So today the plan is that I have two loads out of Newport one to Bristol and one back to Afcom. I then fill out my daily checks book to say, as far as I can see, the truck is roadworthy. It's off to Newport for a load of organic maize to Bristol. Let's go. I pull out very slowly as the yard is very dusty and I don't want to flick it up everywhere while everyone's trying to get all their stuff in their trucks. It takes about an hour and 45 minutes to get over to Newport, which will mean that I will get there around 7. I get to see a lovely sunrise on the way up the M5, and I'm really hoping that it stays sunny all day. Then I take the M4 across to Wales over the second seven crossing that was opened in 1996 to relieve the traffic on the first seven crossing. It's not long before I pull into the docks and onto the Weybridge. I get my paperwork together and put my high vis on and go and see the Weybridge operator. So I've just been on the Weybridge and took my ticket in. My numbers aren't there on their system, which means that they cannot load me. I've rung the Wayne's office and they are going to try and sort something out. Unfortunately, the company that we got the work from, they don't open till eight o'clock and it is now just gone seven. So I might be waiting here until they open. It is now 9.15 and I finally got the confirmation through that it's fine to go back onto the bridge because apparently somebody didn't send the numbers on to here. So I did have the right numbers. They just didn't send them over to here because it had been brought through a few different companies and sold on to, bought or sold on to a few different companies and it all just got mixed up and that's why I have sat here for two and a quarter hours. And what's annoying is that could have been two and a quarter hours longer in bed. But nevertheless, I pull back onto the Weybridge and get myself weighed in. Let's hope this works. Chat went, fly down there quick, Jim, because he might be going to breakfast in a minute. I can't do a Welsh accent. I cannot do a Welsh accent. I just need well, I've got to get down there quick, that's what he said. I reckon he's gone for breakfast. That's his loader there. I know, I might be in luck. He's moving, look. Mm. I follow him into the shed and he puts his bucket up in the air in the position that he wants to load me in. The general rule is that you don't load over the sheet unless you absolutely have to. So I understand that he wants the offside of my trailer in line with his bucket. So I do a big semicircle to drive into place.
The loader that is here today is very quick and I know it won't take him long to get me loaded. It helps that he has a big bucket on his loader and also that he is due his tea break. When it's coming near the end, I lift my body slightly and watch my onboard weigher and just give him a little beep when I am full up. Then I will put my body down and put my sheet on whilst I'm still inside the shed and reverse back and head out of the shed and back towards the weighbridge. He certainly is keen for his tea break, but I'm so grateful that he loaded me before he went. He's off. He's off. All I need to do now is get my paperwork and I can finally get out of here. I've got my organic paperwork and it's off to Portbury. Portbury. Drive safely. If you're not on your cube, you you track all the time? Yeah, well I tried to, I just loaded late so it's full of dirt now. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> That's nice. And I would like to say a massive thank you to everybody who's given me positive comments about my channel. I am trying to reply to everybody's comments but I'm finding it increasingly difficult with the volume of them. Although by the looks of it my mum has been helping me out with that so if you get a reply from Jeanette Warren that is my mum. It looks like somebody is just beating me onto the Weybridge as I arrive at Portbury. Just have to wait a little while for the Weybridge that's all. I'll wait here just in case somebody needs to get in there. I get myself all weighed in and right straight on to pit one apparently. Once I'm backed on into position, I just swipe the card that they have given me and that will get the pit running. I put my grain sock on while the body is still down and then I can lift the body up. All that's left to do then is to open the grain hatch. And I'm away and tipping, as simple as that. As you can see, maize is a very dusty product. Well, that was a bit of luck, straight on the pit after the morning I've had. So now I'm gonna have some strawberries. I don't even know what the time is. It's 20 to 11 now, so I've lost quite a bit of time, but it is what it is. Well, being straight on the pit means that I will get back to Newport before they shut, which is good. Hmm. Maze only takes about half an hour to tip here, so it's not long before I'm packing everything away, opening the tailboard and letting the last little bit of grain out and sweeping up behind me. As I'm finishing up, I just check that everything's secure and the pit's tidy, and then we can go back onto the Weybridge, where I can pick up my final ticket. I anticipate. Drive safely. Hiya, all right? How are you going? Not too bad, I've just tipped. Oh, I head back to Newport, then. Is it Newport now? Yeah, Excuse yeah, me. Newport to Wescombe. Yes, please. Yeah. Okie dokie. Okay. I am running a little low on fuel at this point, so I head for the motorway services, which is just across the roundabout at Portbury. And I almost can't believe it, I am straight onto the pumps without waiting. These pumps are also quite quick, so it doesn't take me long at all. And then we're back on the road again and back over the Seven Crossing and into the docks and onto the Weybridge. And this will be the same procedure as last time, just hopefully my numbers will work straight away this time. Fingers crossed. That's me all weighed in and like before, I just have to come down to the corner and wait for the loader. I'm not sure whether he's on break or anything because it is about half past 12. So kind of lunchtime-ish. I'm hoping that he's in loading someone else and that's why I can't see him. Shortly after that, he appeared and I follow him down to the shed where I loaded last time as I'm loading the exact same product that I loaded before, which is organic maize. 
He knows that I know where he wants me to park, so I get into the same position that I did last time. It's dark in here now. I'm sure it wasn't this dark earlier. Yeah? Once again, he loads me up really quickly and on the last bucket, I lift my body up and watch the weigher and give him a little beep when I'm full. Then it's body down, sheet on and out of the shed. I give a little beep to let people know that I'm emerging from the shed and then it's back to the weigh bridge. There is somebody on the bridge already weighing in, so I just wait patiently until they're off and then I can drive onto the weigh bridge. The couple hours that I was held up this morning is certainly turning itself around because I'm out of there in no time. From start to finish, I was probably in there a total of around 20 minutes. I head back over the Severn Bridge, down the M4 and down the M5 towards Uffcombe in Devon. And this bit is a famous bit of motorway that's on a split level that goes over the Gordano Valley near Bristol. Uffcombe is around an hour and 45 minutes from Newport and I need to head down through the village to the mill. I can't pull onto the way bridge because of the yellow barrier so I need to drive forwards and reverse back onto the way bridge. Once I'm on the bridge I get weighed in and sampled and then they set me up on the organic pit. I reverse back onto the pit between the two buildings and this pit is strictly for organic products only. I am the last truck due in for the day and they all need to go home at five o'clock so they're pretty quick to get me started. I put my sock on, I get the body up and then I just need to open the grain hatch. Maize looks like sweet corn and is of the same species but just a different variety. A bit like the difference between a Maris Piper or a King Edward in the potato species. With a bit of luck again, I'm straight on the pit and tipping straight away, which is ideal because the organic in this place takes quite a long time to tip. With this maze, I will be on the pit for about an hour and a half. Time for tea. Today I have a salad and salmon. I use one of those to put in here. After a bit of a wait, the trailer is finally empty and I can take the grain sock off, open the tailboard, put the sock away, lower the body down and sweep out. I don't know if there's a reason behind this, but organic always seems to be so much dustier than um, normal. The trailer does take quite a bit of sweeping out and I'm very aware that the staff here want to go home so I do it as quick as I possibly can. It's quite a warm day and it's quite humid inside of the trailer but I finally get the trailer swept out and the pit tidied up. Time to go and out. So it's off the pit and back onto the weigh bridge where they are already waiting for me to weigh out. While I was waiting I also rang the Wayne's office to find out what I was doing next. all tipped I've got my paperwork weighed out and now I'm off to a farm in Baldrip and it's back up through the narrow village at the top of the hill there's quite a bad corner and I'm hoping that I don't meet anything there are quite a few buses that come through here so some days you can be unlucky luckily today it wasn't too bad from here, I need to head north on the M5 and come off at Junction 23 for ball drip. The farm is about an hour away from where I tipped. I've rung the farmer for directions and I'm pretty confident I know where it is. Hi, all right? Yeah. Straight down there and in, into the left? Back. Yeah, 54 short left corner. Okie dokie. All right, perfect, thank you. I follow the farmer's instructions and I pull up to where I'm asked to stop. 
he comes over and gives me the passport and he starts loading straight away. So it's nearly six o'clock now and I'm being loaded at the farm in Baldrip and then I'm taking this to Woodbury near Exeter. This is a load of barley going to another farm for animal feed. I don't think I'm going to make it to the farm tonight, so I give the farmer a ring to find out what time he can take it in the morning and also to get some directions to the farm. I come across a very friendly chicken that doesn't seem phased by me whatsoever. And then I realise it's because her and her mates just want to find some barley on the floor that is flicked over the top. I absolutely love the warm sunny evenings this time of year. I put the sheet back on and then I reverse back up to turn round as per the farmer's instructions. He kindly watches me back round the corner and then I just need to navigate myself back to the main roads. I think this corner is going to be quite tight to get my trailer round because of the houses in front. So I keep over to my left to give it as wide a swing as I possibly can. And actually, it wasn't as bad as I thought. I love seeing all the green and everything growing, which means that harvest isn't too far away. As you can imagine, harvest is one of our busiest times of the year. On the way back down the M5, I stop in Taunton Dean for a quick pit stop. Right, I'm going to go in and have a very, very quick shower. Well, I'm glad that's over. Sometimes I feel dirtier having a shower than I do not having one. At least I got all the dust from the maze off of me. And all I need to do now is find a parking space as close to the farm as possible. There is a place that I know of that's around 40 minutes away and I have 50 minutes left. So that gives me 10 minutes just in case. that's that I'm all parked up I've done just under a 15 hour day and I'm about 10 minutes away from where I need to tip tomorrow I've rung the chap and I can tip at six o'clock in the morning which is quite good because I can start about five half five ish hopefully I can get on tomorrow and keep the early starts and hopefully an early finish Friday maybe 